Looking good and having great skin is something most teenagers take for granted, but some aren't so lucky. Just over a year ago, 17-year-old Megan gave birth, but she gained more than a baby boy. Everyone does have stretch marks, but mine are particularly bad. During the pregnancy, her weight ballooned by four stone, resulting in scarring from head to toe. They're not just normal stretch marks as you would get as growing up. You know, when you grow up, you get a few stretch marks here and there. But mine are just absolutely terrible. They cover the whole body. I just want to be 17 again and just start enjoying my life rather than covering up. So I'll do anything to make them go. So I'm going to cry now. <laughs> Megan's had enough of suffering in silence, so she's come to the clinic to see Dr. Pixie. You can step out here for me. So, do you want to pop your T-shirt up? Okay. They go round. These are big, aren't they? Yeah. These yeah. are big. Just turn out that way slightly for me. And have you got them further down? Yeah, they go. Show me those ones they there. On going down. Through there, they go right down. So they've gone nearly down as far as your knees. They're on the back of my legs as well. They're quite bad. There, if you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, we've got quite a lot. Yeah. Stretch marks affect over 80% of women, and if you're unlucky enough to get them, they're with you for life. But what causes them? As you know, if you overstretch an elastic band sometimes, uh, after a while, um, it becomes less springy. Well, basically, that's what's happened in stretch marks. If you're a teenager and you're still growing and you're pregnant, you're much more likely to get stretch marks. With Megan's stretch marks affecting her both physically and mentally, Dr. Pixie is concerned. If we can even make a small difference, I think it will drastically improve the quality of her life.